The political aspect of the Second Amendment debate is incredibly important. But what's almost more important is the culture. Because the culture determines the politics. And without the culture, you don't have influence over the politics. And this is never more present than what Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, said at an event for the Sandy Hook anniversary. During his remarks, Iger said that preventing shootings before they happen should be among our highest priorities. He went on to say that as a grandfather, as a father, and as CEO of the Walt Disney Company, I believe there is no greater or more important task than ensuring the safety and well-being of our children. The Hollywood Reporter stated that regarding gun control, Iger added, quote, those of us who are in positions to affect change, whether it's the influencing by influencing laws of shaping culture or supporting organizations on the front lines, I think we have an, ex an extra responsibility. I want you to keep in mind that is the same guy who is the CEO of a company that by and large has a large influence on your kids. They are attacking the culture. I always said that the, the anti-gun lobby or the gun control lobby, they don't just play the game from one perspective. They attack the political and they attack the cultural because they understand how important the cultural is to the political and vice versa. So they go out of their way to make sure that they not only push hard on the politics, but then start almost grooming the minds of the young to find the second amendment to be less important. Hell, back when Obama was president, you actually had the head of the ATF basically saying that we should brainwash people into basically being anti-gun. That's why mediums like social media and just the internet as a whole have really honestly slowed down the progression of the gun control lobby. I think without the internet and social media to the degree that it is now, the second amendment would almost be almost non-existent if you ask me, because we get to have a free exchange of ideas and dialogue, even though we in the gun community face an insurmountable level of just shadow banning and censoring and so forth and so on. And that's why they do those things because they understand how important these meetings of exchanges are to keeping the second amendment alive and well, because we get to have those conversations with people who are coming from different generations and may not have been taught this information because the school systems don't want them to know this information because they rather peep, they rather these kids feel like the second amendment is really not that important. You see it when you go to some of these rallies and you watch some of these videos where people ask them questions about the second amendment and if it, whether or not it's important. And they literally kind of like, we can live with it or we can live without it. And their only understanding, their only experience with firearms comes by way of school shootings that keeps push that keeps getting pushed down their throats over and over and over again by the media. So when you have a generation that grows up only experiencing guns from a negative perspective and never being taught the genesis of why we have the second amendment and what it actually means, and no, it doesn't mean hunting. Of course, they're going to look at the second amendment and say, well, yeah, we can do away with that. So then when these gun control lobbies come in and say, hey, we want to ban this scary looking rifle. I'm like, yeah, we'll do it. And now they're in a position to do it because now they're old enough to vote. So now they're voting for things that are against their self-interest and it won't be until they're older and then they realize, oh my God, we voted all our rights away. Now there's nothing they can do about it. They can't get it back. But what we can do now, what we can do now is utilize the medium of exchange that we have by way of the internet and inform these people, inform these kids, inform the people in the middle sh by sharing videos like this so that they understand the importance of the Second Amendment. Because even though we have access to unlimited information now, a lot of people don't know history. A lot of people don't know about how gun control actually started, how it was actually meant to keep guns out of the hands of undesirables. All of these people like the CEO, Disney, Barack Obama, all of these, all of these big wigs and top exec individuals, they're not worried about the second amendment because they can hire people to protect them. So for, for them, it's a non-starter. They, they, they lose nothing from giving up their rights because they'll still essentially have them because they can hire people with guns. And that's the thing. They want to make the idea of carrying a firearm, a position of hierarchy. Everybody can't do it because it's not really about being anti-gun. It's about being anti-gun for you and I. Only the people at the top should be able to have access to firearms in their minds. That's the way they think. But because we live in a country where it's not a dictatorship and they have to basically convince you to give up your rights, they have to sell it to you. That's why they go to these things like the Sandy Hook 
anniversary dinner and so forth and so on and talk about the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids because they know they can get to your emotions. They can get, especially people who don't know about guns, they can get to the emotions of people and say, the only way we can protect kids is if we ban guns. So what do you think is gonna come from that? You're gonna have the CEO of Disney pushing out content that's designed to teach kids how to not like firearms and teach kids that firearms are inherently evil instead of educating kids about Firearm safety and how the importance of firearms was a big part in how this country was founded and how it's a big part of how this country will be maintained as far as freedom is concerned. No, what they're doing is they're trying to raise a bunch of controllable sheep. That's what they want to do. And they hide it under the guise of protecting the kids. So when I say the Second Amendment is under a cultural war, that's exactly what it is. So have those hard conversations, share videos that explain what the second amendment is about, share videos about particular laws that are coming down the pipeline that break down why these laws are not actually a good thing. That's the only way we're going to win this. The political side of the battle is incredibly important, but I tell you, you can win the political and lose the cultural and lose the war. But if you win the cultural and lose the political, you could still win the war. Because the cultural, by and large, determines the political. And if the political doesn't align with the culture, the culture will rise up. And that's the last thing they want from the political. Speaking of culture, you know right now there's a culture war against the Second Amendment. That's why I need you to share this video. That's why I need you to like and comment on this video so that it becomes favorable to algorithms and it reaches more people. I hear people say this all the time. It's like, oh, well, your videos are awesome and they're great, but it's preaching to the choir. No, it's only preaching to the choir if you don't share the video. It's only preaching to the choir if you don't like the video. It's only preaching to the choir if you don't subscribe to the channel because what it tells the algorithm is that we need to push this forward. Another way you can do this also is indirectly by uh, heading over to shop.mrcoleonthemore.com and getting some of your uh, Pew Pew Life merch. Uh, you know, it's a kind of an indirect way of starting a conversation with people to have this conversation. People ask you, what is that? What does that have to do with anything? And then you can break it down to them and let them know what the Second Amendment is all about. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia, the new Draco design, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirt Click the link under the Keep America Tactical in the description section of this video. Or if you're watching this on mobile, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.